What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fudge Muppet, it's Michael and Scott here with a brand new video all about the Fallout 4 DLC, specifically Far Harbor, and we're going to go into some deep analysis all about the pictures and what we can discover in yes. this mystery land. After two pictures only, we have been able to see a few things which are definitely worth talking about. We're going to analyze the fuck out of it. Yeah, we're going to analyze the pictures. First, we're going to cover some of the basics about what we've been told from Bethesda, then we're going to analyze the photos, and then we're going to give you some of our deeper speculation. So basically, the premise of this DLC is that you get a new case from Valentine's agency regarding a search for a young woman and a secret colony of synths, and this is all set on the mysterious island called Far Harbor, which is off the coast of Maine, which is a state north of Massachusetts. This apparently has high levels of radiation and is a more feral world than you'd be used to in Boston, and there's new faction quests, settlements, lethal creatures and dungeons, high-level armor and weapons, a growing conflict between synths, children of Adam, and the townspeople and it's all up to you to bring peace or or sort of sort out the whole thing yeah. that's the story there's, premise. there's choices which which we like and hopefully there's some evil choices but if we look at the stuff there there's some stuff that stands out new faction quests now i don't know whether that's going to be like just the factions in their children of adam and the colony of sins and the townspeople or whether there's any new faction quests involving like Maybe the Brotherhood wants, has an interest there. Maybe the Railroad or whatever, like the faction that you actually chose in the main storyline. To be honest, I'm actually really keen to get into some of the factions that weren't really explored in the base game. Like Children of Adam were basically just an enemy type. Like you didn't really explore their faction at all. So to dive into a whole new world of that, that's really creepy and ritualistic and church based would be pretty cool. Yeah, and a tiny deviation, while you do mention uh, the Children of Adam, maybe they'll bring in a whole new bunch of radiation weapons and we'll actually get some good use out of the uh, nuclear physicist perk that makes them more powerful. Yeah, one thing I found annoying was the fact that you basically had to use, like, pistols for radiation weapons yeah. or an occasional melee weapon. Like, there's no radiation rifle or anything like that, and that would be pretty interesting. Now, the other part we've got here is settlements. So, we've actually got new places, and I'm assuming it's going to be like every other place every other settlement in Fallout 4, you can actually create and craft your own workshop settlements and build your own places. The other thing I like about this is the whole higher level enemy stuff. Like this really sounds like a sort of end game DLC. Like, you know, the soul slime of Skyrim. That's what this is. You head there and you know, it's tough. Maybe you can't head here at level one and maybe the enemies here will be tough regardless of what level you are. Well, yeah, it's interesting with the lethal creatures and I'm assuming it's going to be some very interesting deadly sort of sea creatures like i'm hoping because we, when we get to the screenshot later and there's these whaley type things we'll talk about that later but um i'm hoping there are some very very new lethal kind of creatures because it's on an island so but i don't want to just be covered in my lurks like i hope we can see some really interesting like maybe like this sort of squid enemies that come out of the sea or something or ah like, getting back or, to the concept or, art the or, octopus exactly or imagine if it's like a very swampy sort of uh yeah, island well, the, the dead tree area sort of i could imagine there's that sort of ecosystem there yeah but anyway let's get into the photo so they can see exactly what we're talking about so obviously as we can see in this photo which looks like the cover of a goosebumps magazine we're going to unravel Unravel the secrets and the mystery of Far Harbor. And this has the very gothic, traditional horror font to it. And secrets and mystery are in bold, which obviously tells you that it is that very, you know, mysterious kind of area with a very intriguing story that's probably filled with unexpected and weird events. And interestingly enough, if we look at the boat, we see the sole survivor with dog meat, or what I'm assuming is dog meat, of course. But what this tells me is I think we should be able to actually bring our companions from the mainland over. Like, you know, it would make sense. Like your Valentine's agency, like, wouldn't it make sense to sort of go over there with Valentine because you got a you got a little mission from Valentine, really, and then you're going over there and you could bring in different companions and maybe they've put an effort into instead of adding new companions, maybe they've made an effort to sort of expand your relationship with the current companions in the DLC. Yeah, and I really hope as well that they don't force you to bring Valentine. Like, I'd love to bring Valentine simply because I love him as a companion. But, you know, if you're playing some sort of synth-hating Brotherhood of Steel character, you don't want to, like finish the story or be halfway through the story and you're like, I hate synths. And then Valentine, let's go on an adventure. You know what I mean? I hope they facilitate for that. I wonder if we can bring our robot friend from the Automatron DLC as well. That would be pretty neat. But speaking of Valentine and his whole detective vibe and how we are actually sent here on a case, like 
you were talking to me about it before, but couldn't you imagine a very, like, the golden age sort of detective, the 1950s style, like, going into some creepy castle on an island, unraveling this whole mystery? Like, imagine you go to the castle and there's this sort of old, decrepit man who's been there for ages and he's got some, like, big hunchbacky, super mutant kind of, like, um, butler kind of guy and there's all these, like, creepy elements, like, I don't know, maybe, like, alive heads in jars or, like, robo-brains kind of stuff throughout the castle and it's got, like, secret compartments and areas and libraries and so on like you can really imagine that yeah that yeah part. i think i think you know they are definitely as you can see just from the font and the entire atmosphere that the picture provides they are going for a very scary kind of like ooh theme like if that if i could describe it it would be ooh like the, you know yeah, what the i mean real like classic yeah, classic cla- corny scary, but it's actually like... Yeah, good. And, and yeah. anyway, so let's talk about the photo. We've got some civilization um, in view. Oh, they've got electricity. So we're assuming this is just the town of Far Harbor. Like, where, where the townspeople are. Is, is it que- generally going to be like the, it's the Raven Rock of Solstheim or it's the, you know, New Sheoth of Shivering Isles. It, it's the main place, I imagine. And yeah, over on the left, you can see, you know, the, the dead trees. Um, Just, you know, no leaves, just these straight long scary looking trees pretty typical and in the background over the forefront of the little houses you see a sort of like castle structure like i, I don't really know Look, what else to describe it as yeah just lots of more pointy chur- buildings more <laughs> churchy actually like it, it almost looks that it almost has I, that gothic feel to it yeah i have this feeling that we'll have the town pe- townspeople at the front and they're like you know sort of classic harbory sort of town but then a little bit further up the hill or into the forest or something there's going to be all these gothic structures like maybe the old sort of churches and chapels or like and maybe the children of adam have sort of like taken them over or like you know what i mean have their own spin on religion in these old churches yeah and speaking of that it's like with it so we can imagine where the townspeople are obviously in this town at the front and then we can sort of imagine where the children of adam might be in the churches and stuff but where the hell are the colony of synths well that's be. the secret and the mystery we don't know yeah like and obviously i assume these are gen 3 synths not like you know yeah robot. these are these are people who are going to act like people and have emotions and probably won't appear to be synths unless you know and it also gives like um as you said about the factions earlier if these are gen 3 synths it gives the railroad a bit of initiative to be there like it sort of makes sense so now let's look at the other photo the actual screenshot of the game and we look here We've got the creepy vibe still there. It just looks a little bit more you know, realistic, not as comic book cover. We've got the whole sort of town. I'm assuming it's the same town. Mm. And then we've got the water around it with some bones and stuff, which we'll talk about in a second. And the boat and the fog. Seems very point lookout vibes. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I actually wonder if that's your boat that you crashed, but let's hope not. Let's hope for a swift well, arrival. <laughs> yeah, it is actually a very similar boat. No, no, of course, we're going to get here but by all boat. The, all the boats in island. Fallout 4 do look the same. So let's keep that in mind with that. Let's take yeah. that speculation with a giant grain of salt. But obviously, the biggest, most striking feature of this entire picture is this big ass skeleton right here, covered in nets and garbage and stuff. What I'm going to assume is some sort of whale skeleton, maybe some irradiated whale creature. And if we look behind it, uh, you might actually notice that there's another one, another, another skeleton. skeleton. And then off to the left, it looks like a whale corpse almost yeah, yeah. this is where the whale sort of thing's coming from yeah yeah it's it's either like alive and blowing out his blowhole but i think that's just the mist it looks dead to me assuming this is a whaling town as well um but really if you go and google yourself a whale skeleton it does look very similar with the shape of the whole back and the the tail end of things if you want to call it that and the rib cage the head is submerged underwater so we can't really see if it has a big beak like kind of head but you know that looks very much like a whale see it'd be very interesting it'd be very interesting to have the whole whaling town sort of vibe because i i just really want to imagine like some sort of old decrepit old dude with some pirate peg leg and he's like oh the the sea monster out there she bit me leg off back in the day when i was out killing whales and stuff and and this brings on to another thing if we go back to the concept art of fallout 4 and we look at there was like octopus and there was like underwater enemies and lots of underwater weird visor looking thing yeah so it's sort of we we were imagining like we did a video on it like oh will we be going underwater and so on Maybe we will in this. Like, it fits the whaling town, and then there's the diving suits, and if you have, like, the sea monsters, and, you know, the harpoon gun that was um, in the Fallout 4 code, but, like, sort of removed at the last minute or whatever. Mm. Imagine if they actually add that in this. More use for the Aquaboy perk, because you can actually breathe underwater. It's more Not heavy. take radiation. Yeah. And this, this whole island is meant to be more irradiated yeah. in general, um, which, would, which would also make rad resistance a more useful perk. 
And I wonder how much Radaway's here. Imagine if you get there and Radaway is not common and you're like, shit. You know, rad resistance becomes a bit more useful, especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time here. Because as they said, which, you know, we'll take their word for it for now, but Bethesda did say this is the biggest landmass they've ever created for a DLC. So that means bigger than Shivering Isles, bigger than Solstheim. Like, that that's pretty big. I mean, it beats all the Fallout DLC in terms of size. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty big. But I wonder what's going on with the whole Child of Adam thing, where how the whole island is irradiated. I wonder, like, imagine if there's some sort of... Like, imagine if there's a nuke there or something, some sort of Megaton-style thing. Like, you know, just so add the fade or piece of the, yeah. of the whole mm. island. Imagine if it's got to do with, like, <laughs> Blowing irradiating... It up. A, or, yeah, or something, or just this huge deposit of radiation or something. And Because the children of Adam are obviously sort of concentrated there, I'm assuming. Like, yeah. they've got a reasonable presence there because it's one of the three major factions that are there that said they did say townspeople were one of the uh Ma factions yeah but, you know like well because there's it, gonna be some moral choices in this dlc in my head if i was to speculate i want to see if i am actually right but i'm imagining gothic sort of plays children of adam in some kind of churchy kind of thing off in the distance townspeople at the front's like wailing town and it's very classic -y yeah novel like goosebumps novel like that, that classic oh i went out on a boat and i arrived and the townspeople mm. are all sort of all very weird and they have their little folklore going on like and then there's this colony of sins and that's like a big mystery that's like the thing that will remain hidden it, it's very hard to speculate about that part i hope it involves something to do with castles and maybe dungeons but something interesting but yeah and the only other last thing we could talk about is the whole uh lovecraftian sort of vibes like we might get that might that might mix well with the um horror and the sort of golden agey detective kind of stuff if that is the theme of it and you might get a little bit of expansion on the supernatural sort of elements like the dunwich borers mm, sort of stuff the and hallucinations the, yeah like all, all all that kind of stuff and the same as fallout 3 i forgot the name not dunwich borers the fallout 3 one anyway you guys know what it is uh but that sort of supernaturalish horror element might be really cool even just subtly it's nice because when it's subtle but that will be really cool. And that's about it, guys. Remember, this is all just speculation. We hope you enjoyed it. And we look forward to reading your speculation in the comments below. If there's anything we missed, let us know. And of course, don't take anything we said too seriously. Keep us updated on Snapchat and Twitter. And also, go follow us to not update us, but for us to update you. So, uh, that's about it. Subscribe, like the video, share it with all your buddies. And we will see you next time.